Hello, this is Nikos Shira. In this work, we present our polygonal building extraction framework using frame field learning. Our goal is to automatically extract buildings from overhead images. A common method is to use a segmentation neural network to predict a building probability for each pixel of the input overhead image. For example, we show here the results of ICTNet, which is the best method from the INRA IRL image labeling dataset challenge. The resulting segmentation bitmap then needs to be converted to the sparse vector representation used by geographical information systems, such as the one you can see here, in order to be integrated into maps. A simple method is to use a contour detection algorithm to produce a curve joining all the continuous points along the boundary of detected buildings. The resulting polygons do not capture the corners of buildings well, especially because the segmentation map has rounded corners. We solve this problem by introducing a prior in the training process, which is that buildings have sharp corners. We do this by asking the neural network to also output directional information about building contours in the form of a frame field. While a vector field will assign one vector for each pixel, a frame field assigns two directions for each pixel. We need two directions because corners have two half tangents, usually differing by 90 degrees. The ground truth for the frame field are the tangents of the building annotations. The segmentation and frame field outputs should be correlated as the spatial gradient of the segmentation should agree with the frame field. We thus add a coupling loss to enforce that correlation, and as you can see on our segmentation result, it allows us to obtain well-defined corners. Adding a frame field output only requires a few additional convolutions, and the necessary extra losses are fast to compute, so training and inference times are virtually the same compared to not using a frame field. Having well-defined corners definitely improves the subsequent vectorization step. However, as we will show, even a perfect segmentation mask has ambiguities that make local vectorization methods fail. Here are the outputs of three different simple control detection algorithms on a zoomed-in segmentation mask. None of them can distinguish between slanted walls and corners since they look identical locally. The polygonization step would need information about the local direction of the contour in order to decide between a slanted wall and a corner. This missing information is precisely what our frame field output brings. Our polygonization algorithm is initialized with marching squares contours, which are then optimized in an active contours model approach to locally align with the frame field. We can initialize our polygonization with the skeleton graph of the wall probability map in order to separate buildings with common walls. This is our polygonization result on the test image. Compared to the simple polygonization of the mask from ICTNet, our segmentation and polygonization pipeline produces much more regular contours. We also compare to previous polygonal building extraction methods on the Crowd AI Mapping Challenge dataset. The method of Lee and others polygonizes probability maps from the winning entry of the challenge. Polymapper directly outputs polygons with a recurrent neural network approach. Our result is in the bottom right. In order to measure the regularity of the contour compared to the ground truth, we compute the angle error between predicted tangents and ground truth ones. We achieve a lower error, as our network explicitly learns directional information through the frame field. In terms of average precision, AP, we are between Polymapper and Lee and others. Our building extraction framework is very fast compared to other methods, because we use a neural network to predict additional shape information at almost no extra cost, which is then used by our local and thus easily parallelizable vectorization algorithm to remove ambiguities. We show here our results on a satellite image using the skeleton graph initialization in order to polygonize common walls between adjacent buildings. Thank you for listening. Our code is publicly available on GitHub, where you will also find a link to our extended paper.